This is D'Angelo Wallace, a very popular YouTuber with 3 million combined subscribers. He is mainly known for his videos of controversial YouTubers and internet personalities. He managed to achieve success rather quickly due to him standing out by single-handedly canceling the YouTube beauty community, and Shane Dawson who was once viewed as an innocent charming guy, until D'Angelo Wallace made an hour-long documentary. And with that video reaching 20 million views, the outcome for D'Angelo was 700,000 subscribers. D'Angelo's content falls into the commentary niche. He is known for many things things including his dry humor, witty personality, and ASMR-ish voice. He is often called the commentary king and managed to become one due to his well-researched and produced videos on his main channel. But nowadays, we haven't heard from D'Angelo in a while. He basically vanished without warning, well, from YouTube at least. He hasn't posted a video on his second channel in 5 months, and his popular channel hasn't seen any uploads since the very beginning of 2021. And fans have noticed the inactivity of his channel, with the fans often expressing concern in the YouTube comment section and elsewhere. D'Angelo Wallace has been gone for a while now, but why? Could it be as simple as a burnout or something deeper than that? To answer this question, we first need a better understanding of D'Angelo Wallace as a person and his channel. So let's go back to around 2018 when D'Angelo Wallace first started making videos. At the time, he was an art channel making digital art videos, as well as art commentary, where we would see him doing his patented ranting, except he was ranting towards art instead of him talking about whatever he wants. He kept doing art style videos for about a year and a half until he took a sudden two month break and came back and completely ditched the art videos to the now familiar quote unquote keep up with the trends type commentary. In 2019, D'Angelo created another channel, D'Angelo Wallace, same name but with no spaces. This channel's intention was to post commentary videos frequently, in which he did have success doing that for a while, but there was an inevitable problem burnout. He had stretches where he would post every single day while still adding the quality factor to his videos. As you can imagine, that's a lot of work and stress for one person to research, edit, and post videos every single day. In a Tina Ferg video, D'Angelo said, quote, but then of course it got to the point where the burnout was so intense and I had made 20 videos in 30 days and I was like, this is not maintainable, end quote. D'Angelo decides to put daily videos on hold on the second channel and put his focus on bigger projects, so that meant taking more time to post a video rather than upload daily. He started the transition right here by posting a video exposing Shallon Lester for being accused of stigmatizing mental illness. He then made a video about Lana Del Rey and Jeffree Star exposing them in similar fashion. But it wasn't until he posted the Shane Dawson video where things changed for D'Angelo's channel by a wide margin. He saw a crazy amount of success. This video easily made him go to about 400k subscribers or so to achieving 1 million subscribers within a month. Sadly, the video isn't up on his channel due to personal reasons, but you can easily find it online if you want to. With this fame came popular media articles D'Angelo was featured on, like Insider, Vulture, etc, etc. So you get the message how he blew up and became a commentary icon in a short amount of time. So let's fast forward to the present. D'Angelo Wallace is missing. Where has D'Angelo gone? And why? Well, for longtime fans of D'Angelo, you would know he takes breaks from time to time. Hell, even his banner confirms that. But this time around seems a bit different, as he hasn't posted any videos on his main channel in the past year, and hasn't posted a video on his second channel nearly a half a year ago. He made an appearance on Twitter and YouTube around December, hinting that he would make a comeback, but made a tweet two weeks later and dismissed what he said two weeks prior. So now we are here currently with no sign of him returning anytime soon. But why could this be? Well, I have three hypothetical reasons that could factor in D'Angelo's absence. Starting with the least likely reason, but could very well be a major factor in his absence. The Sneeko beef. In a nutshell, Sneeko's a fellow YouTuber who also makes commentary vids, but not like the commentary channels that you originally see across YouTube. He is more of a controversial channel to say the least. I made a video on him if you want a more in-depth dive into his channel. Link in description. Anyways, this beef between D'Angelo and Sneeko started back in February. February 2021, with D'Angelo commenting, he's for the streets on Sneeko's We Broke Up video. For context, the video was about Sneeko admitting to cheating on his then girlfriend. The comments on Sneeko's video were ruthless, and D'Angelo decided to add to the fire by commenting a semi joke. Sneeko saw this and retaliated with a 20 minute video basically roasting the hell out of D'Angelo Wallace. His braces and the fact that he looks like a TikTok Lil Tecca. Not even just the fact that he dresses like Ellen, just his voice, his face, his... Remember when you had to run the mile back in middle school? He was the dude, he was wearing the knit suit walking in the back. No, I, I'm not gonna run and get my suit There's sweat. some weird hater energy inside of you, dog. If you have any friends, I bet when your friends like get something accomplished, you're like, oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> oh, you, you, you got a new job? 
Wow. But keep in mind though, the motivation behind this video was based on a comment. But again, I put this as the least likely reason for his absence because this beef happened all the way back in February 2021. And from what it looks like, D'Angelo pretty much ignored the situation by not responding and continued to post regularly up until his recent disappearance. The last two reasons that factor into D'Angelo's absence is in no specific order because I think there are both significant reasons for his absence. Starting with the second to last reason, Canyon County. This is a project D'Angelo has been working on for a while. Now we don't know that much info on this as he hasn't told anyone about it. All we have so far is some community posts talking about it, his pin tweet, a website for Canyon County, and a welcome letter from D'Angelo Wallace that promotes Canyon County if you join his newsletter. The last logical reason is depression. Depression is something D'Angelo talks about a lot. He mentions it when talking about his grandparents in the Influencer 19 video and Twitter. He said, quote, it's unlikely that I will be making any long form videos about these kinds of situations ever again. People enjoy the content because I take emotionally charged situations and present them calmly. But the amount of emotional labor that requires is not something I'm willing to repeat for my mental health." End quote. He also uploaded a total of 46 videos in 2021, most of which have been emotional and disturbing topics to cover. It's a no-brainer that all these factors led to D'Angelo suffering creator's burnout. And who knows what else D'Angelo is suffering from behind closed doors. All we see is the calm, charismatic commentator that never fails to entertain. But he is obviously going through some things. All that we can do now is wait for his return and see what he has to say for his unexpected but kind of expected leave since he disappears all the time.